So what you do is you take your past experience and you project it in, in future. So you take your fears and you're projecting them into the future. When you're worried of something to happen, you're afraid of something that may happen in the future, means you are bringing your past and projecting it in a future time that you think it's, it may happen. But in reality, now this moment is the only thing exists. There's nothing outside of now. It's always now. So why should I go spend my money and put a lot of time and energy, study all these different schools of thoughts of empowering me to create things with my mind, to manifest things for my future, which in fact is going to make my mind stronger and my mind is going to come and beat me up. Why would I do such a stupid thing? I'm trying to get rid of my mind. Why would I make it stronger? Do you understand my point? Yeah. That's why pseudo spirituality, this new wave of spiritual teachings does not produce any, any enlightened being, does not produce any free beings. No one gets free from it. And I know tons of tons of people been doing the same thing from this course to the next course to the next course and they're miserable they're just miserable always suffering always mind fucking always they're working on another oh i'm going to i'm going to be working on my inner child Okay, how long you've been working on your inner child? Oh, you know, past five years. I mean, when is this inner child going to heal? Oh, I'm working on my wounds with my dad. I'm working on my childhood wounds with my mom. I mean, I mean, I know professional spiritual seekers have been doing it for 30 years. And they're still working on their wounds. Come on, if after 30 years you, you have not healed it, maybe you should think about you're, you're using the wrong method. Maybe there's another way of healing it because by in 30 years, you haven't got to any results. Isn't, isn't that logical to just think logically that, hey, Hello, wait a minute, maybe the method and the path I'm going the wrong, not I can't heal the wound, maybe it's not the wound, maybe my method of healing is the wrong method of healing. Not the wound is not getting healed. I mean, come on, after 30 years or even 10 years of not getting any results, and you're still going through same emotional reactions all the time, wouldn't you think it's logical to pause for one moment and kind of examine your method rather than jumping from one teacher to another teacher and another teacher? Because none of them are giving you results. So you don't want to stay with them. You're not getting results, so you're moving to different methods. You're not free, of course, thanks to Hilde, to bring up this 
topic, freedom. What is real freedom? What is freedom? You're not free until you are able to go beyond the mind into the silence. You come to this place that is quiet. And being quiet has become your way of being. I'm not saying that you don't speak. You do speak, of course. But you speak from silence because you have discovered the inner silence. You have discovered stillness <clears throat> inside yourself. And now, no matter where you go in the world, you are applying, that's going with you wherever you go because peace, inner peace, is going with you wherever you go. It has nothing to do with peace in the world. You want real peace? You want to come to real happiness? You really want to be happy? And I'm not talking about superficial happiness. I'm not talking about, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so great. Because I run into people, they tell me, oh, Zaratustra, I'm so happy. Oh, I, I, I'm a new person. I'm really happy until their boyfriend flirts with another girl. Then all hell will break loose. Oh, what happened to your happiness? I thought you were really happy. That's not happiness. No. Real happiness is, it's steady. It's an inner happiness, inner peace. And don't mistake this level of happiness and inner peace. It's a steady state. You steadily feel this inner joy. You constantly always feel connected with God, with your inner being, with the self. And you always, when you're quiet and you're not talking, you're just going meditation, you feel these bubbles of bliss coming. Like when we were sitting together earlier today for half an hour, we all went into this blissful place. We all went into this place of pure divine, pure divinity. Because it was inner, inner quiet, inner peace we came to. That is real happiness. And yes, you can be realized and become enlightened. But that doesn't mean you don't get angry. You don't get frustrated. You don't get sad. Enlightenment doesn't mean you have become as Superman in your emotions. Now you're not experiencing emotions anymore. That, that's not enlightenment. We're not talking about the system of learning how to numb ourselves. We already tried that with drugs, alcohol, sex. I can numb myself so I don't feel. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Your nervous system can get affected. 